Thank you, guys. It's the best slot before lunch. I think I better. Uh, uh, I have a natural incentive to make it fast and interesting, so that you don't feel like how hungry you are. And um, actually, switching gears from a, a very in-depth uh, presentation around standards and APIs, etc., I'm here today to share with you. Uh, what here technologies uh, offers and how we use APIs in uh, in uh, delivering location services, uh, which is an interesting aspect I hope to many different use cases and many different applications and services. So anyway, just to give you a few details. Um, I work for here technologies, run the business in uh, Asia Pacific region, based in Singapore, uh, and uh, what I'm going to cover today is uh, is really. Uh, who we are as a company, just give you a little bit of a background of uh, where we come from, uh, the type of offerings uh, or the bigger picture why we believe APIs are important and where that takes us to and why the developer community is so important to us, uh, how we're going to go about it uh, in uh, enabling developers and, and uh, creating communities and how we add location uh, as part of it and uh, then just give you a couple of examples of what we, can, what we have built in that sense, thanks. Always need technical help. Um, so that's briefly the agenda. Um, so who we are, Here Technologies is a more than 30 years old business, which originally was founded as a business called Navtech, uh, headquartered in Chicago in US, which then uh, subsequently became part of Nokia and was famous as Nokia Maps. Uh, business uh, got renamed to Here Technologies back in 2012. And since then, it also changed ownership. Um, we currently have 200 uh, uh, locations around the world covered. So we are one of the biggest map providers. So we have uh, created a, a rich, 2D, fresh, accurate uh, map representation of the world of 200 countries. Uh, we have uh, about 9,300 employees around the world. And uh, someone like me who came from IT and the technology side, uh, originally you would say, well, this is a business that's run by cartographers and GIS experts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but uh, once you look into that business, you quickly discover that it's a highly technology business because what's on the back end of it is a hugely sophisticated and a huge in terms of size database. So we truly deal with big data. And just to give you a little bit of a sense of what that means is from an industrial scale of building maps, we have so-called LiDAR cars, which drive around the world, more than 400 of them, which capture about 700,000 data points per second, which then gets uploaded. Our, our vehicles can upload up to 28 terabytes of data per day. And we make about 1 million changes to the map on a daily basis. So it's a, it's a huge operation and uh, it deploys massively artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, in, as means of dealing with uh, the, the complexity of, uh, of dealing with that data, structuring it, uh, you know, minding it and delivering services on top of it. So we, are, as you could possibly imagine, we are hugely passionate about data. Uh, which is the core of our business, and it's evolving very fast. So 2015 was a, is a big change for our business when it got acquired by three of the largest car manufacturers. We call them OEMs uh, in automotive. So our current shareholders, the biggest shareholders are Daimler, a BMW, and Audi, Volkswagen. So they own the majority of, uh, of our business. And the significance of that is uh, essentially their understanding their high definition maps uh, with precision down to centimeters are going to be needed, obviously, in the next uh, uh, generation of automotive, which will be a lot about autonomous driving. And we are starting to see some assisted driving examples already, but fully autonomous driving, which is currently called level five. But beyond automotive, there will be a lot of other use cases which will require a high level of uh, location precision. Uh, and so we are entering a new era of delivering new level of services, not only optimized for precision, but also attributes that we capture and how we represent the world. So it's a lot about community effort and a lot about data. 
So we also believe that obviously that uh, that uh, makes our contribution and uh, makes us participants in this new platform economy. So we are restructuring ourselves from a traditional business of uh, delivering value through a kind of a linear supply chain into much more of a platform company where we enable a whole host of new services and offerings uh, based on what we have as a main asset, which is location. We believe platform economy is the future, obviously, and how we're going to live and uh, collaborate with each other and creating value. And the examples are there. If you think about seven out of the top ten uh, most valued companies in the world are platform companies. You think about people like Alibaba and Baidu and Tencent and Amazon and Uber, you know, and a number of uh, companies which are real examples of how platform is being valued today. We also know that if you just add up the market valuations of, let's say, the top 15 publicly listed platform companies, it comes to something staggering like 2.7 billion, uh, sorry, trillion of dollars which is clear evidence that this is where the value has been created and the perception is that the, the, the level of uh, scalability and uh, uh, opportunities and possibilities that the platform economy creates is, is there and the promise is there. And so we uh, truly believe in it and want to be a, a big participants in how the platform economy is going to change our lives and create value. We also think that that changes uh, the actual value creation process and community, so creating a sharing economy and a digital communities and marketplaces where people can actually interact and transact and collaborate and not only monetarily in terms of value but also engage on a social or a environmental or various other exchanges and as such, it's a much more of a hybrid type of economy where value and rewards are slightly different and, and are changing. And that encourages new ways of collaboration and, and uh, creating values between perhaps even previously competitors. But they all come together in a community effort and potential new exchange models with marketplaces which are being created. So believing in that and being passionate about data we have invested and recently launched in the market where we're gradually rolling out around the world a new capability called Open Location Platform, which essentially is a developer environment that sits on top of a very rich data, uh, data uh, lake. We have ingested all of our map location data as a base of it, and we are currently onboarding a massive amount of other data providers because we believe that real-time data and data of all sorts of types, and we have made the platform data types agnostic, uh, is going to be essential for the quality of what we deliver, the freshness of, of the location services, and also the versatility of how people want to monetize their data. So this is a very dynamically uh, changing and, uh, and uh, developing part of the industry, and we believe there will be new models emerging in terms of data monetization uh, models, but also opportunities to create completely new and unique offerings on top of it. Uh, the heart of that platform from a data point of view, it's something we call the reality index which is a 3D representation of the real world. Uh, and we are capturing all of our location data in addition augmented with real-time data and constantly updating uh, what that index represents. It is then exposed to developers uh, for creating new services and products on top of it. And that is beyond automotive, clearly. Uh, there are many instances of traceability, tracking, and various other uh, implementations of location that make just about every real-time process a much better uh, just by adding location to it. So we want to be part of multiple offerings there and want to create a rich ecosystem on top of it which collaborates because our fundamental belief is that data is so much more valuable when it's shared and when it's combined with different data sets. And again, our unique approach to it is to, uh, to structure it and stream it based on location index. 
So there are three different components of the way we see our col collaboration in, uh, in that platform economy and from a location point of view. But for today, we are going to focus mainly around the developers and what we have in offering of how we help uh, that monetization process through delivering unique opportunities of creating services and, uh, and applications on top of it, as well as how we help the collaboration and the development of, uh, of that developer community. So we have a dedicated site uh, which uh, where you can check it out and, and see what's available there. But essentially, we are currently exposing more than 20 different APIs, uh, which can be used for various location-based services. Uh, we have a team of about 120 people around the world, which is helping the developer community uh, in and getting them together through evangelizing efforts. Uh, we also run events. And we have uh, recently launched about nine months ago, a very generous freemium model, which had been a very successful for the last four months. We have doubled the number of developers working on the platform. So we currently have about 250 transactions, 1,000 transactions per day. Um, and uh, this is how we are essentially planning to uh, grow our development effort. Uh, we have also uh, made quite a lot of um, uh, big strides with tapping into some of the bigger developer ecosystems of uh, vendors like SAP, uh, MuleSoft, uh, AWS, uh, where we can potentially tap into millions of uh, developers uh, who could benefit from using these this services. And then finally, uh, I mentioned we, we are also uh, looking at a various ecosystem play to uh, have collaborative development with people like uh, Bosch SI in, in this case, who are also on our uh, shareholding list, but also university effort to expand uh, the outreach to developers. Um, this is an example of uh, how we go about freemium. Uh, we have substantially simplified uh, our freemium offering and made it very generous, which uh, really spurred a lot of interest and, and, and spike in uh, usage of the services. Uh, and we believe that um, uh, this is really just the beginning of uh, how much more scalable uh, that could be. We have made it very simple and easy to access. Uh, the developer doesn't even need to enter a credit card. Uh, to start using the service, and once the service is proven and they can see a path to monetization, they can move to a, a, a paid uh, version of it for delivering location services. Our recent offering, our most recent one launched in the beginning of March, is a platform called XYZ, which is a, a, a highly scalable visualization tool that allows people to make maps much better. Uh, than, than previously, and there are various services exposed there through API and uh, SDKs uh, which uh, provide different components and interactive tools. And so these are the, the, the three distinct um, uh, qualifications of, of the new platform, uh, and the important thing is it is open, uh, so the learning curve is not steep in terms of how you, people can use it. It is standard, it uses industry standards, and it's real time, which makes it really attractive, not only from the set of tools for visualization, but also the, 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 the speed and the interactivity of the platform. So it's been a, it, it's been a great success, and we have been receiving a lot of uh, positive feedback so far with um, the users, so I'd like to uh, invite you to, to check it for yourself and, and find out um, what is there. Um, it has lots of sophisticated capabilities around uploading data, manipulating data, visualizing data, and adding locations to ver in various concepts of, uh, of, how, of what new things can be created on top of it. So finally, just to drive a little bit the story home, uh, I just wanted to share a recent example of uh, how that uh, can be used with uh, a provider of uh, ride hailing. It's an auction-based ride hailing services uh, in Indonesia, uh, which is using ex extensively our location-based services uh, through API and, and uh, our mobile SDK, both for, for their drivers. They have about 250,000 drivers uh, and for their consumer app. And it's been a great success story. Obviously, we want to see them successful uh, gr growth. Uh, they're the third largest ride-hailing uh, provider in Indonesia, obviously close to our home here. 
uh, and this is one very fast growing part uh, of the industry. Uh, we have also, wow, my picture disappeared. We have also uh, managed to um, achieve a very good data collaboration uh, effort and model. So in return for them using some of our services, we actually capture data uh, from their drivers uh, who opt in, uh, which also helps us to keep the service evergreen and, and, and fresh, which is a great example of a, an exchange of value. Uh, but uh, they have created a whole host of services and continue improving that uh, with their user experience in mind. So a good successful example of what can be achieved through a smart location services implementation. So you can find more details. I actually have a, a, a colleague, um, partner in crime here, who can answer some technical questions as well, if you have any. Uh, but with that, um, I'd like to thank you for your attention. And um, if you have any questions, happy to take them now. I'll let you go to lunch. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.